Hello everyone and welcome to a very belated let's play. Today we're going to start off with Planet Coaster. I think I may actually have the volume set to allowed. Um, hold on a second. I was just looking at the um, audio volumes there. I do apologise for that. Master volume down to about 50. There we go. Anyways, um, I have been having a quick little go of this. I actually really like this game. Those of you who know, I was planning on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but this game came out and I've had to think about it for quite a while, quite a long while as you can probably see from the last video, and you know I decided I'll buy it on the holiday sales. I played it for about a week. I love it. I, I absolutely love this game. Uh, it's a lot more smoother than Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Even on my old PC it still works fine. So I've decided what I'm going to do is switch everything I had for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 over to Planet Coaster. So, uh, for this first video, I'm just going to mess around a little bit. You can see you've got the career, the sandbox challenge, stuff like that. Um, it's going to be a sandbox game. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, figure out how to do it so that we have our own funds. It's going to have to be unlimited, but, you know, that's more fun. Uh, we... Uh, blah, 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 words? <laughs> wow, I'm not good at doing this live. Yes, it's not going to be one take, by the way. I'm not going to do any do-overs. I'm just going to go as is. Any mistake we have, I'm going to do it. So, anyways... It's going to be a sandbox game because I want to work with you guys to design a park. So we're going to the sandbox. We can see here we've got the six options for the little cal basically. I've had a quick go of all of them. Some of the options we can do are a bit limited depending on where we are. Not in terms of theme, more in terms of what we can do with the terrain. For example, we can't have much grassland in the Arctic and we can't have snow in the tropics for obvious reasons. Um, so for this first video, I was going to start a poll on, say, SurveyMonkey or something, but decided, you know what? Let's just pick something at random, and if you guys like what I've got planned, then we can go with it. If not, you know, you got see the options here. I can have a quick once-over if you do want them, and we can see what we can make. For this first video, I'm not going to be doing much in terms of building rides. It's going to be scenery, it's going to be entranceway, possibly the main street if I decide to do that. But then afterwards, what I want you guys to do is to jump in as, in a sense, the board of directors. You guys are going to be deciding what we do with the park, and I'll basically put your wishes into motion. Hopefully. There will be some limits on what we can do because of the game engine, but... You know, just as I was about to record this, they had an update, so I do have very high hopes for this. That, you know, the, the uh, Frontier are very on track with what the, the players want. So... For this first video, let's see... I wish I had a D6 handy now. Any, 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 move... There. Desert it is! Okay. That was completely a random choice there, but yeah. We're gonna start in the desert. I do like this, by the way. Yes, they do dynamic soundtracks for the loading screen. And we're in! I don't care about the controls. Right, so I'm going to pause the game first to show you what we've got. We've got our entrance over here. It's tucked away in there. Our actual gate entrance is actually over here. We've got two of them. Huh. A couple of benches as well. Then we have all this open land over here. Look at that. Look at that. Keep in mind, this game's running on low settings because my PC is quite bad, so if it does look a bit blurry, I do apologise. But I am trying my utmost to um, record at 30 frames per second just now. Because it's only going to be 720p, so I don't know. Basically, my internet is quite and utterly ridiculously crap. There, there's no theories about it. Anyways, so, as I said, this video is going to be terrain. I'm going to show you off the terrain things we can do. We can obviously pull the terrain up. Actually, let's make this brush a little bigger. Let's say about 20 meters. We can pull terrain up. We can push it down. Simple as that. We can flatten to foundations, which is very good for some rides. Well, it seems you've got a, little, a slight... Oh, there we go. We can flatten to surfaces, which doesn't sound all that interesting until you realise what you can do with it. So, we've got a little hill here. We can flatten to that surface. Yeah, that's right, it doesn't just flatten to the, the ground. It actually flattens to the angle that you're pointing it at, so we can do things like that. It looks weird. We can chisel, which is... If I remember right, we just... Sort of chip bits off the top. We're not lowering the actual terrain, we're just chipping off the top of it. So we can make little plateaus. We can smooth terrain out. Which actually will be better showing you on this side. Which obviously removes the roughness of it. Or we can just 
roughen up and get some really cool looking th things. Like, look at that. That's just me holding down the mouse button. I'm not having to do anything else. I think it's fractal, but it's pretty cool. Then we can just smooth it out. We can get some dunes. Possibly. We've got, we can paint the terrain. We've only got like five options here. We've got that. We've got... I think that's supposed to be like smooth sandstone or something. We've got fake deserty grass. We've got... I think that's supposed to be sand? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, that's supposed to be sand. And then we've got, obviously, the auto paint tool, which will do the... the rock and such for us. So you see we've got all of that. But anyways, like I said, I do want you guys to vote on the... the locale, so I'll just flatten this out for now. Where is it? Here it is. Let me just flatten all of this so we can get back to the... basics. Oh, hello, why are you flying? There we go. We had a little flying rock there. Yes, you can do that. We can just go, say, whoop, up we go. We make a giant pimple in the ground where we can push out all around it. And boom, there we go, floating rock. Simple as that. I don't know why the game lets us do stuff like that, but hey, I'm not complaining. This. I'm sorry, I'm just mesmerized by this now. Let's, let's uh, chisel that out. Where is it? There it is. No, 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 no. And... Oh, that seems to be chiseling the wrong terrain. I don't think we can just do that, though. So we can make a meteor impact site with that. Just chisel down. Let's see, how does that look? That actually looks quite cool. It probably would be a bit better if we push it down my ears, because it gets a bit more rounded shape to it, but yeah. Anyways, let me flatten that out again. Yes, and before anyone suggests that no, I'm not making Mr. Bones Wild Ride or any other murder coasters, what I want to do is build an actual park with you guys, you know, that's one that you'd actually want to go visit. If you want to go visit the Death Park, then I have some serious concerns for you. So, let's, I'm going to go over the rides first, because, you know, if you guys are going to vote on them, we've got the pre-built we're not going to use. I have been doing a lot of research on how to build these coasters, and holy crap, there's a lot to it. So, what we've got here, we've got Looney Tunes. How does this one work? This is... Oh, I apologize for the delay there. If I remember right... Actually, you know what? It'd be best if I go for the... The pre-built coasters, because they will show off. There seems to be one pre-built design for each coaster, so we can see what they are. This is a hyper coaster, which, as you can see, is pretty, pretty standard. We can see in the custom thing here. We can see like um, what it can do. The hyper coaster, for example, is chain left, can't invert. All ages can ride it. We get two different car designs, which are listed separately for some reason, but there we go. Uh, the Looney Turns. This one can invert. Which one's the Looney Turns? Is it this one? No, that's a gear coaster. It's not that one. I'll find it eventually, I swear. It's not that one. Okay, maybe it doesn't have one. Okay, let's um, uh, Let's just do a quick build in, shall we? So we can pop that there. Oh, that's the length, not the... We are in the chain lift, thankfully, so we can we'll just quickly build a cheap little coaster. Let's see how far the drop can go. 75 degree drop. Oh, not 90. We can do 90. We can invert. Okay. Got a feeling this will be absolutely terrible for our um, nausea rating, but hey. Let's try and keep this a bit. A bit of a smoother thing. I may want to rotate to 90. Oops. This is one of the things I discovered about building these coasters. You do want to watch your banks and what have you. 
before we start lifting it up. I should probably snap to 30 degrees because... When I've been playing it, it seems 30 degrees is a good angle for banks and such. I know I shouldn't put too much thought into this since it's going to be dropped very soon, but... Shush, I'm very picky. And let's even out here. You know what, just go all the way and then all complete. Wow, that looks like an absolutely terrible turn. Let's cancel that. Oh, this is to show you what the coaster actually does. <laughs> oh, okay, we can't do that. How about that? Close enough. Okay, let's give it a test. Let's see, what do, what do you actually do? And uh, we'll go to the... Oh yeah, that's right, it's paused. Oops. So we'll go for this camera view, just so we can see exactly what this coaster does. Now here's one thing I keep forgetting. The chain lift speed. This will be very slow. Any idea? So at this point I could go speed up the chain speed, but it would take longer, so it's worth just sitting and waiting for all the second or two more it's going to be. Any day now. I think with a name like Looney Turns it would spin, but it doesn't seem to have that in it. Right, I'm looking at the actual track segments, but here we go. Oh god, that looks horrifying. See, this turn looks quite smooth. But that first turn... Alright, so it doesn't actually spin or anything. That's quite disappointing for a name like Looney Turns. Uh, we've got our... Dive Coaster? Yeah, we've got a Dive Coaster, which... If I recall correctly, is just what it says in the tin. That's quite a cool station, actually. But, well, let's, let's, let's try that again. Watch the platform. It folds in, that's quite cool. I cannot remember the name of the the coaster, but I know I have seen one before. At, uh, I think it's Alton Towers in the UK. Not being on it myself, because I'm an absolute wuss. I forgot to change the chain speed. There we go, 14 miles an hour, because... Oh, hold on. If I remember right, its, it's thing was that it can do 90 degree drops. Yeah, because you just got the dive drop holding section, that's the exact same as the... What the hell is it called? It's gonna bug me now. But yeah, it basically holds the 90 degree drop for a second and then, well, drops. No, don't go that way. And for those of you wondering... Uh, we should... Yes, there it is. We can indeed do tunnels. We can do, say... What? If any drop, you want to have it a quite a smooth drop, so let's go to... Thankfully the auto tunnel tool is going to help out with this, so... Let's see, let's go up. Tell 30 degrees this way. It's starting to come back out. Let's tilt this way. Then we can turn off the auto tunnel because we're now above ground. I have no idea if we'll actually make that turn. I 
kind of doubt it for some reason, but we'll see. And you know what? Just all oh, complete it now. Hey, that was fiddly. Okay, are you now going to make a run of it? Apparently not. Okay. Oh, start test. That's why. Right, station closes, station, uh, station opens. Quite a high capacity coaster. Up we go. So you know what, let's go into the, oops, ride camera. That's one. So we get to this section, then it holds us here. So yeah, you're going to fall in that hole. And boom! Can't see a thing. Hi there! Oh wow, I actually made it. I'm impressed. Then it's gonna coast into the station. This is probably where the video suffers from not being 60 frames a second, unfortunately. So that's the dive coaster. Oops, no, I want you to delete the whole thing. You know what, I can just undo that, because all that tunnel's there. There we go. Right, give me, delete, there we go. Ah, uh, what's next? Uh, the flying coaster should be, floor uh, floorless, sorry, should be quite self-explanatory. Same with the, the flying coaster. It's, but just in case you don't know, let's have a look at the station. As you can see, the... The main position of the riders is that they're supposed to be flying. What can it do? It can chain lift, can invert, but only for adults and teens. Same for the dive and the floorless. The free swinging has perhaps the best car design ever. Look at that beauty. As you can see, its gimmick is that the the car can invert, I think. Yeah, the, the track itself can invert, but the cars, the little like, canoe-like things that the riders sit in, seems it doesn't invert. It will just wobble on its own basically, but that looks quite cool. The Giga Coaster, again we've, we've kind of seen the Giga Coaster, can't invert but it's for adults and teens because it goes that fast. Hybrid Steel Topped, that's quite a neat one. It's basically a half wooden half steel coaster. Like if I throw this on you can see here, the track is steel but the, excuse me, the supports are not. I forgot to change this chain speed. Boom. This is just a quick showing you what it's got on it. One of my thoughts on when I did first see this was that the track was quite wide, but it made sense when I started banking the, the turns. Because you can see you started getting, if I put in the optional catwalk here, that's the wrong side. Let's be on this side then. Yeah, we can actually go full on 90 degrees. I do need to put an offset on actually because. One of the things about the coasters is that the banks, you do usually want to have a bit of an offset to the height of them. Just because it will help alleviate the g-forces. Let me stretch this out. Yeah, as you can see there, the it looks a bit cooler with the, the bank turns when you get that extra bit of width on it. So let me get rid of this now. Oops, that's the track rides. There's another hybrid steel track one here. Uh, hyper coaster. Again, I mentioned that one. The inverted coaster, I'm not actually sure what's inverted about this. Like, oh, hold on. No, stop it. Like, what actually is inverted about this coaster? It just seems to me to be a hanging coaster more than anything else. I think it can invert. Let me double check. Yeah, it can invert, so maybe that's it. They've also got the four-seater version. We've got two different junior coasters here. This one seems to be a caterpillar. And this one's a dragon, which is quite neat. We've got two different types of launched coaster, which should make quite a bit of sense to anyone that's a coaster that launches itself. Looping coaster. I hate that I can't change the car design. It's always going to be the American Arrow, no matter what we do. Which sucks, because I do actually quite like the sort of retro design of the, the the actual cars in this one. 
Uh, you've got your standard mine train coaster because you've got to have a mine train coaster somewhere. The prototype wing coaster. Like, as far as I can tell with that, the, the wing refers more to the shape than anything else. It cannot invert. It's a cable lift, but in adults and teens only. The... Oh, I wish we actually mentioned some of the other ones. I think most of the ones I mentioned except the junior coasters are for adults and teens. The mine train is for all ages. The single rail steel coaster. Another quite cool one, but it's for adults and teens only. Spinning one. This is one I think was I thought was the uh, Looney Loops, whatever it was called. Its car can, I believe, spin. Because as you can see on the... Hold on a second, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. As you can see, there's spots in the riders at the front and the back. So I'm assuming... Oh yeah, there's a car spin here. We can lock or unlock it at will. Uh, let's get rid of that just now. Back to coasters. That was the spinning coaster. We've got a stand-up coaster. Again, it's a rather self-explanatory one. I, you can recolor the cards, by the way. So I'm just showing these off so you can... Hold on a second. I need to lock the time. I'm just showing these off so you guys know what we can do and what's here. We've got a typhoon coaster. Unfortunately, the cars don't get any longer than this. It's like a single... Um, two-row car with ten people in it. The actual wing coaster, which... Is this the one that... No, it's not. Okay, this one is fixed, unfortunately, but the cars are quite long, as you can see. We can get the launched version of it. That is actually a very cool design for the, the wing section. Of course, you've got your wooden coaster. And all those, yeah, oh, the spinning coasters for all ages. I thought it was just Adams and Teens. And then we have what is perhaps one of the coolest, the X Dimension. Now, I know what you're thinking right now is, that aren't these cards backwards? Yes, yes they are. But the reason for that is quite neat. See, the actual seats rotate independently of the wing section here. So if I... Oh, hold on, let me just... See, I can set the, the seat angle now at any point. I can't remember if I can set it to... I can just say... Oh, I can rotate to 36 degrees, but that makes no use whatsoever. So if I do that, they are now facing upside down, going uphill. But... I believe there was one that would allow you to have the... seats rotate independently. I think there's a raven turn back. I wish I could do it for the top section here. But one thing I have discovered is that uh, these pre-built sections are absolutely useless when it comes to twists and corkscrews. Because look at how... Just, even if I scale it up, look at how completely and utterly bonkers that is. That that turn is going to cause some major issues. And I can't even set a, an offset to it. It is just absolutely pointless. If you're going to do twists, do them by hand. Because, I mean, I can rotate this 90 degrees in another way, so I can't do a full a full-on uh, inversion roll, but it is still better than just... Look at that inline twist. That is terrible. And an inline twist is the only section I can get. But it is just absolutely horrible. The G-forces on that at speed are going to be insane, and I can't even drop it down like I can with the normal track sections. Like, for this, I can decide, hey, you're going to go 90 degrees downwards. Or the drop itself is going to twist around this way as you go down. You see, yeah, so the G-forces for that won't be much, because obviously the train's going quite slow. But at speed... Oops, wrong way. Hold well, on, I'm just deciding which way this should go. This looks crazy as hell, but what the hell, we're doing it. The, the car's now got some speed to it. The riders are going to be feeling the G-forces downwards. They'll be being pulled to the side. But as they hit this turn, they'll be starting to push outwards. That's the thing you do need to think about quite a lot in this. Because, uh, hold on, let me... Let me show an example here. No, don't do that. 
Oh, now you're doing the inversion, though. You do want to think about your G-forces quite a bit. Damn it, a bit too... Can I? Yes. One of the things I've found that does get quite a bit of excitement is airtime. So if I... Banks and airtime are the two main things if... Again, I'm not... I should probably preface this with I'm no expert in, in um, coaster design. So do not take this as gospel. This is just me kind of thinking aloud in a sense. Go back down 15 degrees. I'll, I'll get back to my original point in a second here, but that will get some excitement out of the ride. Go back to zero. Same with you. Are you? Yes. Let's get a bit more downward on this. Because you've got quite a shallow dip here, but what you want is not too big. Yeah, that should be okay. That curve will get quite a bit of good airtime. Airtime in terms of coasters is... Again, I'm prefacing this with I've never been on a roller coaster. I'm too much of a wuss. But in my terms of researching coasters, this section here will get quite a bit of airtime where it's... You feel like you're rising out of your seat because of the, the sudden change in direction. But you don't want it to be too harsh because that adds to the nausea rating of the ride. So let's just do this here. Actually, let's add a, a brake section. Do you want the trim brake? Yeah, just the trim brakes. Oh, complete. Boom. Okay, start test. Ride camera. Now, I cannot recall if these ones will rotate independently, but let's have a look. Oh, they're not. Okay. I must be thinking of another ride that's got the... Oh, I think it might be the wing prototype or something. Yeah, no, it's wing coasters. Oh, this one's got music. You see, you probably saw the section there for very briefly with the um, the airtime on it. This isn't going to roll in, it's going to slow down and stop before then. Yeah, that coaster's not going to get back into this station. Oops. You saw nothing. See? Nothing. Okay, you can go away now. Um, yes. It must have been... which one was it? Is it the wing coaster then? Let me just... Do a quick test. You may be wondering why don't I put a very sharp uh, peak on the lift hill then? The reason for that is because you kind of don't want to at that point. You need to get some speed up before you can get the excitement up. If you just have a very slow lift, it's just going to be quite boring. Now let's go this way a little. Uphill. Let's make it a bit of a... Actually, I wish show some of the things that do work. Like, the Sidewinder. This is quite decent in terms of dispersing the G-forces, because... I don't, know, I don't know what it was about the actual corkscrews and what have you, that they just they just don't work. I mean, this corkscrew entry is still quite a bit... It's this section here, but you have no way of editing it at all. So it's coming in and it's just jerking the riders. Even when it's at maximum size, it's still quite bad because of the G-forces. Because you'll need quite a bit of a drop to get the speed required to hit this properly, but that just completely adds to the g-forces along this section of track here. So, in terms of, if you're going to do corkscrews, this is a tip for anyone else playing the game, if you're doing corkscrews, do them by hand. If you're doing loops, use the pre-built sections, because I mean, whoa, hello. This dive loop here, quite decent actually. This section here will have quite a bit of g-forces to it, but it's not long enough for it to affect, unless you're doing a really tiny one, in which case there's something wrong with you. Even the sidewinder here is a lot shallower in terms of the bank to it. 
So, you know, you're good with that. Even the inclined loops here. But I still prefer to build these by hand. Because, I mean, what I can just do to build this one is... Excuse me. I think I want you to have a bit of a drink. My throat is getting funny. Oh, there's yapping. I mean, that's been half an hour according to this, so... And we'll only just scratch the surface. I did say I was going to build things, but I think that's not going to work now. Anyways, yeah. So if I want to build a ever so slight um, dive inclined loop, sorry, I keep wanting to call it a dive loop. It's not a dive loop. I just need to. I can do it by hand like this, and it is a lot smoother overall. Just keep the that, nah, but it's not going to work. It's going to intersect this bit of track here. Let's go here. Okay, unfortunately that's not going to work because we don't have enough height to it, but we can start building it up. Even out here. And then switch into a downward. Oh yeah, I forgot about my banking offset. I usually do the banking offsets, but I just keep forgetting. So we can now bring this around like this. It'll level out around here, so you can bring it back up. Get another bit of airtime going. I don't think we get much airtime on this actually, because it's not that we don't have speed. It's that maybe uh, you know the direction of the g-forces is. I don't know why I went to point at the screen there, but it's kind of down that way. So it's not airtime in the usual sense. We'd have to even out the track for that. Which I'm going to do here. And then bring a bit of a drop. Yeah, that, that one could work. And then we just do that again. There's a bit of airtime there. Shrink this, will this fit? Yes. But we actually want to even out at zero for now. There. And let's put a uh, loop. Put on some trim brakes. Then drive tires, because we're going to start heading back towards the station now. Drive tires are quite handy for that. So let's see. Can we extend it a bit? No, we're gonna have to shrink it down. Do you know what? Just auto complete. Boom. Start test. Okay, let's see how this one works. I believe. No, this isn't a free spinning one either. What the hell? I built all this to try and show off the free spinning coasters, and it's not there. Either way, you get a little bit of a look of the... That was not a high enough drop. It's got some speed. I think it's just going to crest this hill here. Barely. And then it's going to drop down. We're not going to get much of the way of air tank. Oh, well, actually, we're on quite a bit of a sharp one. Then it slows down, and the fuel section here kicks in. There you go. This is another sort of a brief look at the coaster design, anyway. So, um... Well, <laughs> I, like I said, I did think I was going to end up building things. It was just going to be more of a, a showing off video. We'll set the timer back. That was pretty. That was very pretty. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, because I've been going on for about 35 minutes now, and I don't want to basically just ramble on about the things. Um... So you've seen the coasters we can do. I'll do a quick run over the track rides. We've got a log flume, because you've got to have a log flume. You've got river rapids. You've got your peppered track rides. We've got a car, a sleigh, or a cat. Two different types of steam train and a monorail for our transports. In terms of other rides, we've got quite a bit here. We've obviously got your Venetian carousel. You've, you've got to have a Venetian carousel somewhere. It's like the law. Uh, what have we got here? We've got the victory, swinging ship. 
the whirly rig. It looks like a Ferris wheel, but it's not. Like, it's got the same kind of shape, but it's... I wouldn't say it's a thrill ride, because it's most obviously not. I mean, look at that. Excitement 1.47. Actually, I don't know if you'll see that on the video. Wild Blue is a quite a fun flying-ish ride. You've got your standard tower drop. Quite a tall one. We have the Cube. I still don't know what this is, the actual name for this ride is, but it's quite a spinny ride. Aeronauts is your... Um, I kind of want to say a Cheroplane, but it's not, because the Cheroplane is actually another thing. Where is it? I saw it in here. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. It's called the Sun Flare. This is like your, your Cheroplane. But it goes up quite high. You've got your Sundial thing here that swings and spins. You've got your teacups. Oh, I've already clicked that one. Your actual Ferris wheel. Another different type of Ferris wheel. I don't know what the difference is between the two of them. 2.49. Oh, this one's more exciting, apparently. Possibly because it also seems to have that inner ring of cars. Or do they? Oh! They may actually... You know what? Let's place it down and let's see. Because if I'm seeing this right, there's a little bit of track that they may roll around on. Yeah, yeah, see, this one's free rolling on this bit of track here. So it's a, it's a Ferris wheel with bite. Whereas the other one's just a plain Ferris wheel. That is quite neat. Wait, what's this car doing here? Is that car stuck? There's one car that's not got its own little track for some reason. Two. So some of the cars are free rolling. Others aren't. What the hell? I'm gonna guess it's physics related. But um, yes, other rides. Let's see what we've got. We've got the genie, which kind of ping pongs up and down this track and spins. We've got a double swing here. What do you call it hammer swing. The hellion ring, which is basically if you like loops, this is nothing but a loop. And the, they call this a, the bump and derby. Fuck you. It's called Dodgems. Okay. Dodgems. Oh, here's your cheeroplane. Which is basically just a standard cheeroplane. Uh, you've got the collider here, which... I believe... I don't know... I can't really poke it out here, but this little bit arm will tilt upwards. And it just spins. Quite a lot of things spin here, actually. Oops. You've got the forge here, which is like... I don't know how to describe it, but... You sit in the little cars. Wait, why am I trying to describe it? You can, I can test it and show you. As you can see, it spins round, it lifts up, it plays music. Quite a lot of hydraulics going on in it. It's one of those kind of rides. What else do we have that's not quite... 360 power. That one should be quite obvious. I'm ready you while we're watching it. As you can see, this bit spins round. Then it just swings. I think it does go 360 degrees, because you can look at that. If I can get that angle, I'm pretty sure it can invert. Yep, I was right. And as you can see, the, the actual cars are free... Free twisting, I think is the actual term for it. They're able to rotate on their own. Uh, other rides... I think I showed you the forge. Gears of Fear, I... Ah, yes, this is one of those uh, twin-arm twirly things. I'm descriptive. The twin-arm twirly thing. You'll see what I mean when it starts going. Oops. Yeah, the arms can move independently. They're not locked. If you keep watching, you'll see one arm go one way, one arm go the other. I believe... Oh, there, see, there you go. So that's one way to literally scare the pants off your guests. 
I'll get rid of that just now. Uh, we have our hyper spin. I hated these as a kid. I did actually go on one, but I absolutely hated it. Because I would always be positioned so that my sister would basically crush me. You know, the actual cars will spin round on this slightly angled uh, bumpy track. But there was always, always when I went on it... Hold on, let me get a better view. Get a better view. I would always be positioned at the side that would basically have all the G forces pushing towards them, so I would be crushed by my sister every time. I hated those rides. Uh, what other things we got? We've got the Insanity, which is another twin arm swingery thing. This one doesn't seem to rotate, so it's just. Just if you get to the top, you'll be inverted, so that's that one. The kick flip is... I don't actually know how to describe this one, so again, here's another video of it. Oh, this one will rotate, it's okay. And I see the cars themselves are moving along the track. Well, this one seems like a good way to vomit. doesn't look like the right. Oh, I was seeing the riders don't invert, and I saw that one on the bottom it's just it's spinning out. There we go, like that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a thing. Other rides. We've got Magic Twirl, which is another spinny ride. The Looper. That looks like Gundam's legs. Like the right at a certain angle. Like a very thin Gundam legs, but still. You've got one of those. You've got the Overpower, which I believe is. Similar to the um, the Gears of Fear. Except I don't believe... Yes, they do. I saw the little hinge there. It can do the independent arm movements as well. So that's all the basic rides, I think. I don't think I've missed one. I know the developers have missed one. They forgot one of the, um, the chair launchers. You know those things that you sit in with a friend and it shoots you skywards? Slingshots, that's it. The slingshots. I've not seen one of those. It's a shame. Then we've got our shops, we can use pre-built or we can make our own. There's not really much to them. You've got food shops like burgers, uh, ice cream. You've got drink shop like energy drinks, milkshakes, slushies, sodas, coffee as well. You've got your information stall. This works differently from in the older uh, Tycoon games because this one doesn't sell umbrellas or park maps. In fact, I can't seem to find a way to place park maps at all. I don't know if there are any, but this instead sells priority passes. Now, what do they what do they do? When you, I don't know why I placed one down to explain it. Yeah, as you can see, they sell a priority pass. What they will do is act like like a priority pass, basically. I'm trying to delete you. Oh, slight building. Okay. Let's place down a quick ride, and I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> oh, I thought it was getting funny again. Let's just see this one. So place it down, place our entrance here, our exit there, and then do a quick path. Let's just see this queue, this path. Make it a bit longer, a bit wider. Let's just see we place one down like like so. I know that's really shitty, but sure. So what does our priority pass do? If you go into the Operations settings, we can enable the priority pass. We click it, we then place the entrance for the priority pass, which we do on the actual queue itself. So we'll pop it here, then the exit will pop here. Now we need to connect a queue to the two of them. So let's just go with a bit of a thinner one here. We'll place it here. And there we go, there's our priority pass. This will allow people with priority passes to skip part of the queue. We can control how much priority they get in the operations section. I don't know what the actual ratios are, but we can have it a low priority, equal or high priority, depending on what we want, and that will affect the value of priority passes. So we can, say for our big rides that we know people are going to come in and ride, we can do that as a means to get a little bit of extra money. I'm also going to let you guys decide how exactly we handle uh, tickets. Like, 
I, I'm, I'm going to admit, I don't know how it is over in the States for theme parks. If you have to buy your ride ticket separately or not. In the UK, at least, you pay your entrance fee, the rides are free. But, um, I believe in some cases you can buy passes to, basically VIP passes for a little bit of extra money. That's what I would like to do, but again, you guys are the board of directors, so it's up to you in the end. You know, if you guys want to, uh, have it so that you enter to the parks free, but the rides you pay for, that's your call. I will, I'm basically following your commands, in a sense. Except when it comes to murder coasters. I, I've, like I said, I'm, I'm outlawing that entirely right now. So, anyways, I've been rambling now for 45 minutes about things. So, from now on, this is just the introductory video. From now on, everything to do with this park... I'll actually cut back to the locales in case you guys want to pick somewhere different. I did mean to talk a bit more about them, but... You know, it's, they're quite self-explanatory, really. So, yeah. Uh, place your votes on the... My brain went blank. Place your votes on the locales, there we go, that you want in the comments below, and I will tally them up. Please don't email them to me, I've not got it all set up yet, so if you do have a vote, pop it in the comments below, and I will follow up on that. I'll count them. I believe it'll be next week sometime I will do the vote count, and, you know, we'll see... That's when it will start, and we'll start building the park. If you have any other suggestions or comments for things that you want to have in the park, again, comments down below. The more you do it, the more likely it's going to be. Obviously, don't spam the comments, because otherwise I'll just tell you to fuck off. <laughs> I'm such a good Let's Player. I'm already insulting my fans, of which I have very little. But yes, any sort of ideas of what you want in the park, what you want me to work on first, do pop it in the comments below. And if you want to, you know, boost your votes in other means, do like and uh, like the video and share it to other people. Get them involved as well. The more people we get, the more fun we're going to have. Both me playing the game and you guys watching as we build this park together. That's my main goal here. I want to connect with you guys, see what we can make. You know? A bit of a, a slower pace. Anything where you guys... You guys are my boss right now. Okay, so... Like I said, do a like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Because, let's face it, YouTube's algorithm's got a bit funny these days. So, I will see you guys next week. And we shall start building our actual park. So... Until then, stay cool!